So guys, five days of five vehicles, day four. As I mentioned in my previous video, we already did day three, and I'm, I'm a little bit behind on schedule, because as you guys know, I'm not allowed to play Monday to Friday, but here we are with day four of five days of five vehicles. So let's take a quick look at the game's description. As you guys can see here, day four, new Eclair free revamp. Yes, that's right. We have an Eclair revamp. If you guys didn't know before the Eclair, we had the Bugatti Veyron, then they retired the Bugatti Veyron, added the Eclair. It's been about, what, three years since we had the Eclair? But now the Eclair is getting a revamp. It is free to people who already owned it. But now the Eclair actually costs 600k. Before it costed 500k. So if you had it before, it's a free revamp. But now you have to pay an extra 100k, which is a downside. But the good side is we got a revamp. Let's go ahead and check out the brand new Eclair. Now all the OGs may know that both the Bugatti Veyron or the Bruley, whatever you want to call it, and the Eclair Sport right outside the jewelry store so if you don't know where the jewelry store is just click on this map over here click add waypoint and you see this symbol over here with the diamonds that just shows the robbery symbol the jewelry store's symbol just like for other robberies like the museum it has a dinosaur because the dinosaur is in the museum where you grab the bones and everything power plant because that's how the jailbreak city gets provided power you got the light bulb there and tomb you know it's got that old mask ancient mask whatever but anyway focus on jury store just click on this over here and you should get a waypoint to the jury store let's go ahead and head over in the javelin to the jury store so guys here we are at the jury store we just hit the waypoint here is the jury store and right outside beside this building we have the brand new eclair look at the comparison to the old one. Oh my god this looks insane and it just despawned let's just wait for it to come back come on come back yes it came back it costs 600k i'm pretty sure you guys want to see me go broke once again all right so i only have 600k now which means by today i have to grind at least 100k so i stay at 20 mil because Right now, I have 20,650,000. So if I spend 600k now, I have 20,050,000. So I have to grind 100k tomorrow to buy the day five vehicle, which is, I'm not going to say yet, but it costs 150k. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, you guys want to see me go broke? Here we go. Press E. Buy the brand new Eclair. I already rode the old Eclair. The old Eclair was a pretty good car, trust me. But we needed this brand new revamp, guys. This looks pretty sick. I mean, it wasn't really that necessary, but it looks really cool. And if you look at the doors now, the doors look realistic. They actually like, open up like from the side to side. And then the back, it looks completely different. But anyway, you guys want to see me go broke. All right, as I said, one like equals rip one jailbreak dollar. Please, please, guys. I really need likes. Please. I'm begging all of you. Likes. All right. I'm just about to hit this button. Any moment now. Any moment. In three, two, one. Boom. We bought the Eclair. The brand new Eclair. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's get in. Ooh, this has a starting sound. All right, a new starting sound. All right, let's test it without any customization. That means level one engine only. 20 mil, rip me. 50k cash only above. Let's go. All right. Let's go ahead and turn up the volume real quick over here. Ooh, it sounds like the old Eclair still, like when you move it, like start up. Yeah, yeah, this is sick. They changed the back as well. It looks completely different. Come on then. Come on. Let's go. Okay, this has a pretty good top speed. Let's see if we can get 200 with just level 1. Okay. Alright, alright. Ooh, okay. We're going really well. Alright, now. Full customization. Whoo! Wow! Okay. Jeez, Louise, this car is really, really good. Wow. And my customizations make it look even better. Wow. I think I'm going to use the Eclair more often now. This looks sick. Yeah, this revamp was definitely a little bit needed. Trust me. 
The old Eclair looks a little bit blank, but it still looks good with my customizations. This one looks top notch. The back as well. Turn on the lights and everything. Oh, that looks crazy cool. Wow, what a good car. Seriously, what a good car. Just look at it. The doors and everything. Let's see the interior. All right. Okay, so go in here. All right, there's the gear stick. There's the um, steering wheel and the speedometer showing how fast you go inside that is crazy this car oh my god wow let's go ahead and take it over to the trade island and see how fast this really goes all right guys here we are in the garage Just click on to expensive vehicles and go down i have a lot of vehicles now which is pretty good there we go found the brand new eclair i like that startup sound though and there we go all right customized it all right just go behind the starting line we're gonna use rocket fuel this time for this because uh if we use rocket fuel then the speed goes down and then it stays at its max speed so like if it goes like above its max speed the speed will automatically go down and then it will be at its like actual max speed so if you guys get what i mean i'll show you guys i'll demonstrate that right now but let's go ahead and let's test out the speed in three two one go all right, 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 all right. Okay, that acceleration is lovely. All right, rocket fuel. Okay, yep, 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 it's going a lot faster. Whoa! I just gave it a boost and it's going 300 miles per hour. I just gave it a slight boost, it's not even going down. Okay, 306 miles per hour. That doesn't mean it's at top speed. The old Eclair had the same top speed as the big net the big net was 277 and so was the old eclair let's try it without rocket fuel now let's go ahead and do it on this side three two one go okay all right i'm trying not to turn i'm trying to go make this as straight as possible all right all right keep going keep going mate go 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 all right we're straight now we're straight now we're a little bit straight if it goes above its top speed, that's insane. It's going above its old top speed. It's going above its old top speed. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Top speed compl- Whoa, I bounced out of the map. All right, that is very, very creepy. Right. That's a little bit scary. I, I thought I was gonna actually fall out of the map, but I didn't. I actually didn't. So let's just jump onto the water now. Can I not, can I not jump on? Okay, well, well, me, rip. How on earth did I end up here, guys? All right, I guess I'm gonna have to reset myself and uh, figure something else out. Okay, guys, I managed to spawn myself a helicopter and get out of that madness, but yeah. That top speed is crazy for the revamp. This revamp is 30 miles per hour faster, meaning that this car is absolutely exceptional. It is phenomenal, trust me. You guys should buy this car. It's not a mid car, it's really good. It hits 300 miles per hour. The concept also hits that speed or slightly above. But this is a two seater car, better acceleration. Concept has mid acceleration because it has four seats, that's a different thing. But yeah, this car is insane, like insanely fast. That is just really, really, really insane for a car like this. I highly recommend you guys get this car. The only downside is it costs 100k extra than its old one, but for an extra 30 miles and better acceleration, take that, mate. The same thing happened with the stump plane. The stump plane, uh, the old one, it costed 200k. The new one cost 300k. But the good thing was the, the new one came with turrets and the acceleration was better, the speed as well. The old one was just very blank and it definitely needed a revamp. And the Eclair didn't really need a revamp. Uh, it, it was all right, but this is really exceptional. I really love how Asimo added this car. Gave it a revamp. Really, really good. Good job on Asimo, Bad TC, Bademo, all of you guys. Thanks a lot for adding this car. So as I said, guys, if you're like a new player to the game, consider grinding for this car. It costs just as much as the Roadster. The Roadster costs is 600k. This costs 600k. Consider grinding for it. It's really good. A car that stays in the game forever. This is really good. Trust me, guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, you guys should definitely grind for this if you're, like, new players or something. So, instead of using, like, a Camaro and going around the map slowly, not able to get to places fast enough, 
you guys should grind for this car. And you can also escape from cops way better than before because Camaros are slow, so the cops can probably pit you and get you out of the car and then just arrest you. So, yeah, recommend getting this car so you can run away from cops a lot faster. Trust me, that's the point of a car to get away from cops as fast as possible. Other than the Day 3 successor, which was also a good car, this is also a really good car. I'd say Day 3 and Day 4 are tied in good cars. They, they are tied. So Day 3 and Day 4 are in first place. And the other day, Stump Plane... We, I mean, Stump Plane is also pretty good. I think the Laviola is at the least so far. So, yeah, but we just have to wait and see until the next day, which is Day 5, which I'll do on a separate video other than this. Finally, if you look on Jailbreak's Discord, there's a lot of stuff in the change logs section. This is for the Jailbreak update, 5 days of 5 vehicles, day 4. So everything that has changed for the day 4 update. As you guys can see, main things, increased eclair price, 600k, which I've already mentioned. And the other stuff, I will put link in the description to, so you can read it all. And I don't have to read all of this out, because then we're going to have to like um, cover so much stuff on this update but yeah i guess that's pretty much it for the update on day four what do you guys think of this update what do you rate it personally this was very very exceptional this day four update for five days five vehicles it was completely exceptional it blew me away honestly i am absolutely blown away from this car so yeah i would rate it an 8.5 out of 10. i did not expect a car to get so much better with a revamp this is probably one of the best revamps we've had so far in ages so yeah i would definitely rate this a very high 8.5 out of 10. I can definitely see myself using this car a lot and my customizations make it look even better like the fire coming out it just looks very very astonishing to look at beautiful other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this update i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed me spending so much money for this update my bank account has been absolutely murdered it's been destroyed ever since this update came out but yeah that's what you guys want me to see uh like want me to do and everything you guys want to see me absolutely destroy my bank account that's what i did I do not want to go below 20 mil, so I guess I'm going to have to grind a little bit after this update. Actually, grind a lot, because my dream is to hit 50 mil cash and jailbreak so far. In the future, 100 mil, if that's even possible, but I guess I'll just be called a no-lifer for that. 20 mil is pretty much a bit of a no-life, but yeah, you know what I mean. So, we got one more day to go, and my cash spending will be over. And because I've spent this much cash, I really want you guys to do me a favour like mostly and subscribe because we are trying to hit 1000 subscribers before the end of the year i can't do it without your guys's help so please please help me and for the amount of money i spent i really do deserve more subscribers and likes i think so because that is a lot of money man i spent probably 1.5 mil this update or maybe 2 mil i'm not sure but it's definitely a lot of money that i've spent but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this review helped you out a lot and if you want to see more videos like this you can go ahead and check them out in the end thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace